What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mud Syndicate YouTube channel. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I ain't been posting in a couple days because well, my life ain't always that exciting. Uh, but I do got some updates. I have been busy. I have been working on the bikes, and I, that's what we're doing here today. Uh, Brood here. She's still good to go. We still got the assassinators on there. Didn't make one Black Friday purchase. Look how fat these things are. Usually like 300 bucks or whatever. Got them like, I don't know, 180 or something. Everything's still going good with the Brute. I don't know if y'all can see that old 2024 Ram 5500. Oh, work truck. Got a, uh, it's dark out here. You can't see her. 100 miles on it. Uh, but for the Renegade, I have been busy with the Renegade. We've got a lot of events coming up. Trying to do a New Year's event. Uh, we got two in January. We got uh, Graveyard Mud Bog, January 9th in Jasper, Florida. We've got Mud Wheelers Gone Wild, the 19th at Redneck Mud Park, Redneck Yacht Club, whatever you want to call it. Uh, February, we got Plant Bamboo, Muddy Valentines, all that good stuff. But what we're here for. The renegade. Let me flip this camera around and show you what I've been what I've been up to. All right, here we go. So these bad boys right here are the 33s. They were on the bike. Or the 20 inch wheel. They are nine wides for sale if you want them. And what we have here. Or 37s. Same tire, BKT, the 171s. Uh, but these are the 37s. Nine and a half wides. They uh, put a tape on them. They're brand new. Haven't even been on the bike yet. They measure out to 36 inches. Come over here. The front is done. It's sitting on its own weight on the front. So that's how she's going to be. We've got Super ATV, six inch boxes, 45% reduction. I was gonna do fours, I said, now nah, I better pull the trigger on the sixes. We've got Keller ball joints, top and bottom. Uh, actually not hard to put in at all. And by the construction of them and, and you know, torquing them, torquing these caps to 150 foot pounds, uh, these things are solid. Really happy with those. Look at that. So, <clears throat> I just got done talking with Sean, I can't remember his last name, from ASA Power Sports on uh, one of the groups we're on, the W2F, WTF Off-Road or whatever on Facebook. And these tie rods are kind of small, probably a little weak. So, I went ahead just now, pulled the trigger with him on some specialized ATV tie rods with the Himes joints. Uh, he said those will get shipped out tomorrow. And I don't know if you can see, but uh, where are they at? On the, oh, can't turn the damn wheel. On the brute here, <clears throat> we have, oh, get in there. Big boy tie rod ends with the Himes joints. And I want to do the same for this bike. As you can see, there's something missing on the rear. I have the, when I bought the boxes, I got the trailing arms that come with the kit from uh, Super ATV or whatever with the porter plates. However, those porter plates, uh, those trailing arms are for, uh, what you call it? They're for a uh, six inch lift kit. This bike, I wanted to keep the geometry uh, suspension geometry and all that crap factory as possible so the only lift on the bike really is the bigger tires and the six inch boxes so I called pocket change fab who else would you call called them guys up told them what I wanted uh, they said they build them all the time three inch uh, extended trailing arms got them in uh, two or three days ago I had them, uh, had them ship them to me raw, just so I could get them quicker. 
uh, primed them, painted them black, and all. I was trying to find desert tan, couldn't find a desert tan paint that was close enough to the plastics or whatever. Uh, got them, mounted them, everything was good. I mean, I didn't mount the boxes, but you know, I stuck the, uh, the axle through and put the long bolt in it, went to mount the shock. And so here's the angle of the shock. The, the tabs for the shock mounts on the trailing arms, instead of being like this, they were like this. Broke my heart. So, called the boys over at PCF. Told them what happened. They asked me to send them a picture. Sent them, a, already had taken pictures the night before. Sent them the pictures over. And he's like, let me talk to my manager or whatever and I'll get back with you. And I was like, oh shit, here we go. It was less than 60 seconds later calling me on the phone. Dude, I'm so sorry. I don't know how it happened. Da, 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 you know, whatever. Uh, immediately sent me a return label or whatever and I sent them out the same day. Today is Thursday night. They're going to have a Monday. Get them fixed up. The structure of the trailing arms, beefy. They're super heavy. They're super solid. I'm assuming that they use a jig, of course, you know, to build their arms or whatever. I'm assuming they got it. And I'm guessing that, thinking about it, I don't know if you could possibly set up a jig for the shock tabs where you got to weld them. I'm assuming maybe that's just a done by a man and a, a tape measure, you know. Uh, anyway, they were probably, I don't know, 18 to 20 degrees off. So, so far, so good. They've always answered my, their, my emails immediately. They've always answered my phone calls. They've always been super helpful. Not bashing them, but I mean, hell, nobody who's perfect. I'm not. So, anyway, got a little setback on that. They're going to get them fixed up for me. Uh, I tracked them. They're going to receive them Monday. You know, they're in Hallsville, Texas, close to where I'm from, and I'm down here in South Florida. Uh, literally, the Florida Keys starts two miles that way, so uh, hopefully I can get them back in time to get all this riding done because I still want to shake the bike down and all that crap. Still got the tie rods to get done on the bike, so I mean, doing all this, and it's if that's the only mishap, you know, whatever. I could have cut the tabs off myself. It wasn't a big deal. I could have cut them off myself and re-welded them. But for the amount of money, you know, you spend, I spent, it was $1,500 for the arms. They're respectful. So I'm going to call them Monday and uh, see if I can get them shipped out the same day. And I'm going to ask them if I could have a free T-shirt, you know. They, you know, it, whatever, it happens. No one's perfect. So that's neither here nor there. Anyway, rest of the bike, nothing else has really changed. Uh, just portals, tires, same wheels that had the 33s on. I really like these wheels. I wanted 22 inch wheels, but I don't want to spend another thousand dollars when I got perfectly good wheels right here. So, well, first time I didn't go above and beyond on that, I guess. Still rocking stock front diff. Stock rear diff. I change my fluids after every single ride. Do I have to every single ride? No. But I have switched from, we'll go to over here, from rocking all, because I changed my fluids so much that I was rocking the Valvoline and all that crap. Well, now uh, I'm on Royal Purple everything. And I do, I, well, let me take that back. That's a lie. I'm running the 8090, which is what uh, they say to run in the portals or whatever. I mean, some people say, oh, you got to run portal blood. Well, I, I mean, I work on cranes for a living and a gearbox is a gearbox. That's gear oil. They say the recommended weight to keep from voiding the warranties, 8090. Valvoline's cheap enough. 8090 it is. Uh, so far, so good. Everything else on the bike is good. I haven't found any issues. I've been spending the last three days going over this entire bike. I haven't found really any issues. Found one slip bushing on a control arm on the brute I got to deal with. But besides that, you know, everything's good. Uh, still rocking the STM clutches. 
the DS18 speakers. What is that though? MCE snorkel horn cover. I don't know if y'all know anything about these RAM mounts for your phone for your music, but these things are the bee's knees. She's the warbird, brother. So, anyway, let me fire it up one, one little tick. I ain't heard it run since the last ride. And, uh, and if anybody can tell me, this is the uh, wild boar rear rack. I don't like it. They got the ones. Lucky 7 makes one, but there's another company that makes one that's thin, and I can get the Desert Tan inserts. If somebody knows what that is, comment for me. But let me grab the keys of this thing. Let me fire it up and make the neighbors mad real quick. All right. Got the old key here. Let's plug her in one time. Look at that. Damn. I don't know how to do all the good little montage crap. I'm just... Let's see. guys so there you have it that's what i've been up to uh i'll try to have maybe by next weekend uh have the trailing arms on do a video shake it down right here in front of the house make sure nothing nutty's happening nothing crazy uh then there's another spot down the road that's actually we go mud riding at uh may try to sneak off in there shake it down one more time before we take it out of town to an event so i've been busy haven't been recording, nothing too fancy. I mean, it's videos of stuff people post all the time. It's, you know, whatever. But uh, if y'all do me a favor, comment, like, subscribe. I'm trying to get a few more subscribers. We're having a good time doing making the videos, mud riding, having, you know, having all this camping fun. So uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one.